And this is Chad. Paradoxically, often, the less you have to work with, the less you take for granted because you can't take for granted what you don't have. The more creative you'll end up being. For example, um, Korean dry cleaners. That's one of the most successful business models in America. They come to America, they have very little, they might not even know anybody. They find a need, a niche, and then they attack it and they render a service on time in a neighborhood. They become the place to go and they proliferate. That's an example of having very little, taking very little for granted and becoming super successful. To my knowledge, one of the most profitable businesses is the dry cleaners. Multi-millionaires have risen out of dry cleaning businesses, often people from Asia who have nothing. Same thing with uh, filmmakers who have very little to work with. Take, for example, John Carpenter when he was making Halloween back in the late 70s. Nobody wanted to touch the script. He looked for our A-list actors to be in the film. Almost nobody wanted to be in it. So all these things ended up becoming advantageous to the film because you had this entirely new type of a horror model for a film with no-name actors, largely, save for Donald Pleasance, who was the doctor, who finally agreed to do it. And then it became an international phenomenon, and it completely redefined horror movies. Although not the only horror movie in town, it began to reshape how horror movies were made, that one film, because he was creative. He had very little to work with, very limited budget. He made it work. Look around and see the kind of things that you actually do have and work within your limits, and then you'll go far beyond what you ever thought you could do. Visit the links attached to the video and uh, explore more of these ideas. Have a great day.